basically. Okay, look, number one, do we acknowledge that this life is a test? Yes. Okay, let's put polygamy to a side. Let's talk about war. Let's talk about war. So now Allah tells the believing men that you should, like we are talking about Quran, that when it comes to war, we have to go. We have to go to war. Do you like war? No. Ask me. Do you like war? No. <laughs> Why? I don't want to go and get killed or get my arm chopped off, or get arrow here. Then I don't know what's going to happen to me. Not only that, I know my wife is going to, maybe, maybe, like, and it's a right, maybe she might get married again. I lose, I lose my life, my kids, I'm going to not see them again. My wife might go and get married again. This is, this is one thing. I can say, Allah, why, why, why are you telling me to go to war? And this is not an extra. Sir? That this is not an extra. What do you mean by like, extra? You already have a wife. You don't need another one. That is their no, 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 no. What I'm saying, the point, the reason I'm mentioning war, is there are things that Allah tells the men to do that they don't like. And there are things that Allah tells the women they don't like. They don't like. Now, Allah says in the Quran, you might love something which is bad for you, and you might hate something which is good for you. Shall I repeat it again? Yeah, no. Okay. You might love something which is bad for you. You love it, but it's bad for you. But you might love something, or you might hate something which is good for you. So the point is this. There's things that you might not like, which might be good for you. I'm not saying that, therefore, someone getting a second wife, a third wife, yeah, and just because you don't like it. I believe, in the long run, it is better for a woman to stay with a good man. I'm not talking about bad man. I'm not talking about a man who doesn't love you, protect you, beat you, hit you, and then get another wife. Come on. What I'm saying is a good man. If you have a good man in your life, in your nature, you are loyal to one man. You're, you're monogam monogamous by your nature. A woman, they want one, one man. Enough. So we don't think the way you do. For example, as a woman, if you don't love your husband or your boyfriend, you would want to end the relationship, correct? A man doesn't think like that. When a man gets a second wife, in your head you're thinking, he doesn't love me. So you're thinking, when I don't love my husband, I, I would I would want to divorce and go and marry someone else. We, we don't think like that. We can love you and he can love you and have no problem with you at all. And he wants another woman. Why? The point is this though, what I'm saying is that because at the end of the day, we are crazy like this. The why question, I don't know. I don't wake up and go, hmm, I'm extra polygamous today. Or, oh, today is Sunday. I don't feel... I don't choose it. I didn't choose to be like this. Just the but way it is like this. It's, that's how it is. It's a reality. And that's why what I see is polygamy is in the program in every man. Now, every man can't do it. How? Sometimes financially they can't, emotionally they can't, whatever reason. But if they had the means, they would do it. Now, I'm not going to ask him that question. I gave him in trouble. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is this. If a man, like I'm honest with my wife, I say to my wife, I am polygamous by nature. I don't want to lie to you. That's how I am. But obviously, I'm not going to go and hurt her on purpose. Again, I'm trying to say. But you need to understand that we, like we said about the war, there are certain things we have to do as a man. When a thief comes into the house and he breaks in, I have to go downstairs. Maybe he'll kill me. But that's my duty and my responsibility. If I die, I die. I am willing to put my life on the line for my wife. Now, when it comes to our partners, what we're seeing is, if your husband happens to do this, to divorce him, I believe, is not correct. It might be hard. The prophet's wife, Aisha, you know one day she brought food. You know the story? She brought food, but the prophet, he didn't know she cooked. He, he, his other wife made food also. He was eating from that food with his friends. Aisha saw it, she got angry. You know what she did? She smashed the plate. In front of the Prophet, smash. She was jealous. The Prophet didn't slap her. The Prophet didn't shout at her. The Prophet didn't swear at her. You know what the Prophet did? He said to his companions, because the Prophet's wives are our mothers. He said, your mother got upset. That's all. If it was another man, he'd probably divorce her. He, the Prophet said, because why? He understood. She's jealous. It's understandable. If a man married again, he might come home. His wife is angry. No food. She throws a sliver at him. Yeah, he's dodging it. 
obviously we're not encouraging violence here, but what I'm saying is, you have to understand, because that's your nature. Just as you have a polygamous nature and you've got a second wife, now you've got consequences. She's going to get upset sometimes, she's going to get jealous sometimes, she's going to lash out at you sometimes. You have to manage that. If you can't manage it, don't get into it. You get what I'm trying to say? So, what I'm just saying is, sister, Muslim men, non-Muslim non -Muslim men, every man does it. Non-Muslim men, they have girlfriends, side chicks, mistresses, they cheat. And they abuse this woman. Allah says, no, do it the correct way. Because at least you are honoring that woman and honoring her. You're not doing it behind the back. You get what I'm trying to say? And you're doing it in a way where if you care about your like, feminist. For example, the rights for their uh, uh, other woman. If you have a good man, why don't you share, why don't you share him with another woman? Why not? The thing is, the, 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 the point is this. One of our, one of the, the Prophet Jesus said, love for your brothers and sisters what you love for yourself. If I love this chocolate for myself, I want it for my brother also. Yeah, so okay. what I'm saying is, the so matter is not easy. I'm going to help my, my friends to find a, a no, no, woman. No, no, not your friend. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, sister, another woman. Another woman. Yeah, let's yeah. suppose there's a sister. Yeah. She can't get married. She's finding it hard. Let's suppose she has, I don't know, two kids. Usually when women have kids, single mom, it's hard. Men don't want them, sadly. It shouldn't be like that. The Sahaba married the divorce for a woman, yeah? And, and I personally, when I was looking to get married, there was a sister I was getting to know, she, was, she has kids. I had no problem, no problem with life. I'm married, no problem, as long as she's a good woman. But, if that woman can't, what I'm saying is that, why is it wrong, for example, that you have a husband who marries you and he's in your life, he's not going anywhere, he's not leaving you, he's there, he's saying, look, I love you, I'm with you, but I want to get married again. So if we don't, if we close that door, I believe that's going to come out in different ways. You know what I'm trying to say? Because he's going to now fight his nature, just as you have a nature. That's what I would say, but I don't know, what do you think? I know, I know it's something, it's hard. It's just, it's just... It is just hard to accept that it's in the nature. I, no, no, no. It's in our nature. You can say it's hard to accept that they will get another woman. But I, it's not hard for me to accept that you have a nature. The Prophet Peace of have said, the woman is like a bent rib. You know a rib? It's bent. He said, if you try to straighten it, it will break. Leave it as it is. So sometimes, for example, our wives, they go through uh, their periods. Sometimes they get angry. You're like, what did I do, bro? I came home. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but we accept them and we manage. Why? Because that's your nature. But that, this is not something that will last forever. You know what no, I mean? but the thing, no, of course it would. When I, as long as I'm married to her, she's going to yeah, go through that. She's going to go through menopause. She's going to go through hormones. She's emotional. It's going to be a moment in the day. It's not going to be the whole no. day. It's going to be. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. It's seven, no, I know. Seven days out of a month, maybe two weeks. He's going to be going through that every month. But what I'm saying is that's fine. We as men have to be patient. But why is it when our nature calls for something, we are faced with a problem? Which is understandable. I'm not saying we can't get angry, upset. What I'm saying is the best solution is not to leave your husband. I would personally say, I would advise any sister, if their husband got married again, if he's a good man, don't leave him. So what's going to happen after? I mean, you, you won't leave him, in my case. No, no, you know what's going to happen? For example, I'm telling you. There's going to be jealousy. There's going to be times when you're angry, you're upset, you don't want to fear. However, what you're in is better than if you get a divorce. Because once you get a divorce, for example, and you have kids, you're in a less advantage. Now, I'm not saying if you're married to an abusive man, stay with him. I'm not saying that. If the man is good, he's a good guy. The guy is good. He's there. I'm saying, look, he's saying, I'm not leaving you. I'm here in your life. Okay, I'm going to be with you four days and my second wife three days. Let's see. At least he's in the life of your kids. He's there for you. When it comes to protecting and providing, he's there. The shopping, the rent, all this kind of stuff. That's his responsibility. As a man, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, men are the maintainers and protectors. My wife doesn't pay for shopping. When we go out eat, she doesn't pay. Not half half. No. Electric, gas, bill, cancel tax, I pay. Car, she takes my car sometimes, I pay for the insurance. Yeah? Okay. Actually no, she, she chooses to contribute towards it. The insurance. Yeah, she said I want to contribute. I said okay, no problem. Uh, so and then I give her an allowance a month. Monthly, I said look, this is what I can give. This is all I have. That's all my responsibility. 
I can say, you know what, no problem. You go work, you provide. No, I don't get married again. You go do all of that. So there's things that I do, big responsibility on my shoulders. Why Allah created me and gave me the responsibility. All a man wants is this, that within his nature, if he's polygamous, and he loves you and he protects you, and he's doing all of this and paying for the bills, and it's hard, it's not easy to start to work. But you don't leave him if he wants to get married again. It's hard. Is it a woman's responsibility to accept it? Okay, now, can she get a divorce? If she chooses to, yeah. yeah. Jewish people, in the Jewish religion... No, you can't, my dear. In, in Jewish... It's an abomination in God of divorce. God hates divorce. No, that's, that's but God, but God joined together, let man, no man break. Yeah, don't listen to the words yeah, of religion. That's Christianity. But don't in listen to religion. But in Judaism, God a woman is together, not allowed stay to get divorced. Stay together. If a man that's why these, divorce, these, these, people, these Muslims are going to get married 10, 11 times. No, They've looked each other all over the place. Not four times. Yes. You see? What's wrong with that? This when Adam and Eve in the garden was made. Made not Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve stayed together. So outside you, marriage is adultery. It's, I, it's idolatry, it's adultery. It's adultery. Outside marriage, yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's that, what God yeah, that's, says. That's, that's, you see, when you see this. That's what Jesus says. It's outside adultery. And also, you? sin separates us from God. Can and you talk? can't get to God without repenting from your sins first. Have the relationship with God is the most important thing in the world. Yes. A young woman like you, get stay with Jesus, read your Holy Bible, ask God to help you, fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. You can have a relationship and then pour out your heart. And don't go be mad. Let God okay. be true every man alert. We're all liars. You can hear the talk with no power. Go to fight you in the wrong direction. Okay. Thank you. So thank you. So the, the issue what happens is this is stuff. When you look at the Christians, because they don't have a solution to this problem, they are faced with a lot of issues. Number one, you look at the priests and the in the church. They are known for abusing children. Why? Because when you set yourself a limit, having for example, what do they say? What do they say, for example? Because when they say we're not allowed to have children, that's to be celibate, yeah? The human nature is going to come out. They want to get, they want to have intimacy. So what do they do? They end up abusing kids. So the point I'm trying to say is that Allah created us. If you go to Christianity, Christianity has no solution for, for this issue. No issue. You know what they say? It's just a sin. But the point is that there is no solution to the problem. Islam, what Islam does is Allah knows I created men and I created women. I know what they want, I know what's good for them. So that's why Allah, knowing us, we know we are simple creatures. Men, we are happy. That's why Allah says in the Quran, in heaven, we're going to get Hura Lain. You know what Hura Lain is? We're going to get, for example, uh, uh, virgin woman. Okay. Okay. This is, true. this is true. But our wives are going to be the queen. Okay. Now, but in that paradise, I can see your face. But there is no, there is no jealousy. There is no anger. There is no hatred. When you enter paradise, sister, there is no. I'm upset. I'm, all of those are gone. It's nothing but happiness. So I know you've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the point is, there is no sadness. Whatever you want, you're going to have it there. The reason I'm mentioning this is because Allah knows for a man, when Allah promises him something in the hereafter, it's a mo it's kind of like a motivation that you abstain from sin here. So if somebody wants to go and sleep around, God has something better for me here. So if he's single, if he's not married, etc., he doesn't want to fall into sin. God Almighty knows what we want. So that's why he prescribed, he said, in paradise, you get women. Because he knows men are simple creatures. But, but when it comes to women, Allah doesn't specify what a woman will get in Jannah, in paradise. You know why? Because if Allah said you're going to get one palace and five horses, I'll give say, you're going to think, you know, but I want two palaces. So Allah doesn't specify. It's like when you go to the woman's clothing, it's massive. So many choices, colors. Because in your nature, you go shopping, my wife goes shopping, she doesn't come out until next day. Yeah, I say, I'll say to you later. That's why Allah doesn't specify for you. Allah says you have whatever you like. So in your head you're thinking, I want this. You get what I'm trying to say? With us men, we're simple. My wife, and what are they? Okay, woo! That's what I don't need anything else. So it's just, that's how we're called. And there's many benefits, but yeah. What about I mean? What about women? What about women in this case? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying I want that too because I don't. Naturally, I don't. You don't want what? Uh, I mean, to have to oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't. Yes. But at the same time, in in this world, yeah. okay. Uh, how, how should a how should a woman like? Oh, I mean, I talk, knowing I talk, knowing I that my man wants more women. Okay, all right. Let's, let's put it like this here. Yeah. We don't wake up and go, 
I want okay. all the women. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying it's just saying that in your desire. No, no, no. Look, we, we have we have our times where we might be weak or not want it. Look, I'm not saying every man is to get married again. Every man has an is programmed like that. Some men, for a they don't. It changes from person to person. Yeah? But it's still going to be in their desire. No, 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 no. So it is. He goes to any man and say, if you can have four wives, and none of the wives have the problem, you say, this is jackpot. Woo! Amazing. Yes, 100%. No man in his right mind would say no to that. Muslim, Christian, Jew, anyone. They wouldn't. This man who came here, if I said to him, four, your wife has no problem, you say, this makes me change my mind about men. I mean, is that normal? Okay, okay, okay. 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 Now, now, the thing is this, is it shouldn't change your perception about men. What it should do is make you understand how they're programmed. I, when I know, for example, a woman is programmed in a certain way, for example, when I talk about women are hypergamous by nature, you look for a man who's stronger, cooler, provider, protector, I can say, well, I hate women for that. Because what that means now is I need to go work, go to the gym, look big, look handsome, have money. I have to go through all of that stress because the woman in the nature is hypergamous. Why can't she just be happy with me? Now, what I do is, I don't hate women. I say, that's how I well created them. I accept it. I do my bit, which is what? I have to work and provide? Right. If somebody comes with a knife, I'm going to jump and protect my wife. Even if that means I die. So men accept it and do their bit. But why are women not doing the same? Because we're doing our bit. We're seeing we are ready to put our life on the line for you. So you're again saying that our responsibility is to accept No, no, no. I'm not, I wouldn't say accept it. What I would say is to be patient with it. If you can't, you have a right to divorce. It's not good. You have a right to divorce. You can say, you know what? I don't want it. Islam gives you a right to divorce. You can. But what I would say, sister, is that will cause more harm. I personally believe you'll be less happy. Because at the end of the day, he said, if he gets a second wife, then maybe he shouldn't. If he does, his second wife is going to say, good, I have him for myself. He's a good man. Thank you. Bye bye. What I'm saying is that if he's a good man, have him in your life. This jealousy that you have, Allah will never test you with something that will cause you to totally lose your mind or kill yourself. Allah will never test you with something. So if Allah is allowed it, what that means is that you can deal with it. For us, when we go to war, we dislike it. We don't like it. But we can deal with it. Otherwise, you're using the right man running. And you know there's someone with a sword. And you're running. Is this normal? No, because it's our duty. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So if men can do their bit, so in this case, we just say, can our sisters be patient in this matter? And when they're patient, to be patient is a duty. And it's then, a duty on Muslim men and Muslim. We are patient when we protect and provide. When we go to work, we are patient because we need to provide. There's a new child. I need to work harder because baby needs nappy, baby needs food. Just as she does, we understand. Just as she does, exactly. Just as she so. takes care of the family. Just as she... Exactly. So you, they do their bit, we do our bit. It's okay. just to come to and, a and, common... And we're, we're, we're good. Yes. And we're good. Yes. And then, again, it comes my responsibility or to be patient with letting him have another wife. This is not part of, not even of the family, not even of the... You, you know what no, no, no. I, look, I know, but what I'm saying is this. If your husband comes to you and opens up to you All right. and says that I want to get married again, yeah? I think, yes, sir, did you just say need? Yes, like it, it, it's a need. Like it's a need. Of course it's a need. Look, sister, there was a study done. The study showed they checked a man's uh, sexual desire compared to a woman. The study showed there is no comparison. Meaning, the man's sexual urge for intimacy instantly is up here. A woman is no comparison. With a woman, like the prophet, peace be upon him, said, you have to, he said, probably said, don't be like an animal. Have foreplay with your wife. Yeah? Because for a woman, it has to be slowly. Close up. Okay. So what I'm saying is that for a woman, it's gradual. For a man, when he comes, excuse me, I'm horny, he's, he wants intimacy. So it's very instant. For a woman, it's something that you put her in the mood, slowly. For a man, instant. So what I'm saying is that shows that the way a man's sexual urges are different to a woman. So we can't treat them both equally. 
you know what I'm trying to say? Now, for example, when a woman goes through a period, sometimes it can go on for a time. When she's giving birth, when she's pregnant, menopause, a man has to be patient. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, now, it's, it's a period of, it's, it's not gonna last forever. But, it's just patient. I know, but look at the man, the way he's programmed. His desire for intimacy is instant. Statistics. It doesn't make him bad if she agrees with him. Okay, agreeing is a different topic. No woman is gonna agree with it. No woman is gonna say, yes, no woman. It's about having patience and dealing with the matter. If it comes, if it happens to be. So all I'm, look, in a nutshell, all I'm saying is, there are many wisdoms behind it, and Allah has created you differently, and me differently, and him differently. We're created differently. And we just need to, instead of seeing it as, this person is my enemy, this person is my life partner, and just the way, when you have your moments, you have to be patient and understanding and loving, he doesn't choose this because he wants to. No man wakes up and says, let me make my wife upset. Let me make her insecure. No. If he is having an innate battle, and he wants to go about it the halal way, and not commit zina, which is, a, you know zina? Yeah. It's haram, it's a major sin. I'm just saying our sisters try to be patient and try to try to manage it and work with it. That's what I can say. If she chooses not to, that's up to her. Can you say that this is like kind of, uh, uh, it's not for everyone, right? I mean, every man is different. Can yeah, you say that? Look, most men are polygamous. Okay. Very rare a man, a man is monogamous. Very, very rare. Okay, can we say that a woman, a woman has the same desires? Like she... Is uh, just as you said for uh, for uh, for a man that she doesn't need time or she doesn't need to get in the mood. She's just she wants in that moment. Can we say the, that? The, the, there are exceptions to the rule. Like I said, generally, women, for example, when it comes to sex, sexual urges, a woman's sexual urge. Um, I don't know what the specific word is. It's not as great high as men. However, there are some women who are like men. Some. So there are exceptions to the rule, of course. But what I'm seeing is that we are speaking general. You get what I'm trying to say? Generally, this is the issue and we have to deal with it. You get what I'm trying to say? And I would just personally say, personally, that if a husband gets another wife, if he's open, if he comes and speaks to you, and he says, look, this is the sister, I want you to meet her. And I would personally say, try to make that work. Because I know we have this perception of another woman coming to break your marriage. Understandable. But if this is woman is not there, she's saying, look, sister, I have two kids. I'm not married. I want someone in my life. Yeah. I know it's hard. We, we're now talking about a specific case. But Two specifics. Yeah. If it, it's just not that case. Yeah. Like it's not a, a, a woman who needs help or needs a, a provider. Yeah. Or yeah. It's just another woman. Just like okay. Okay. If it's just another woman, now you need to understand, sister. Personally, it works. For example, if a, if with this kind of stuff, it's mainly if a man can manage it. If it's another woman, for example, and if he has the if he wants to, he can. Yeah, he, it's his right. He has a right to get married again. If, if it's for whatever reason. But that's upon the individual to judge. What my wife will feel. It's a specific situation. Each situation is different. But all I'm saying is, it's not worth ruining your marriage. Because don't think you're going to come across another man who's not polygamous. It's just going to come in a different form. He's probably going to be behind your back. Oh, you found out he's talking to a girl, girlfriend. If you have a husband that's good, he's honest with you, I would say stay. It's not worth ruining your marriage, etc. But if you want to, it's up to you. I, I hope I hope I try my best. But it's not it's, it's not, not easy. easy. But 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 it's a test. The whole why are we here? It's a test. Some people lose life. Some people lose their children. Some people have bad health. It's a test. If everything bad happens to us, was that Allah doesn't love us? Then that means Allah loved you know Pharaoh? Allah talks about Pharaoh in the Quran. He was wealthy, he had everything. But does that mean Allah loves him? No, Allah hated him. Because he said, he said, I am God. But he had everything. Just because Allah gives everything to you, doesn't mean he loves you. And just because Allah tests you, and he gives you something which you don't like, doesn't mean he, doesn't hate, he hates you. It might be that you are his servant, and he wants to increase you in patience. You know what I'm trying to say? So my advice is, I don't know if he's going to do it. Let me look at him. I mean, he's a handsome guy, you know, but if he does do it, I would say, sister, be patient, but at the end of the day, look, I don't encourage anyone. I'm not going to say, oh, I'll go and do it. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's a big thing. There's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. He said, a man will come on the day of judgment, leaning on one side. We don't know how, but leaning is like, it's because he had two wives, he treated one better than the other. And as a punishment, his body will be leaned on one side. So it's not a, 
matter where it's easy for a man. No, because on the day of judgment, he will be punished if he treated one wife better than the other one. Allah is the just. But why would say, sister, this, all men do it. It's just we are taught to do it in the halal way and not to abuse another woman. That's this is all an emotional background because this came from her background, from her past, that because it happens a lot of things that Basically, make her. Basically, my mother died because of, uh, because of, because of? Zina. My mother died, my mother passed away because of Zina. How? How? Can, do, 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 in what way? Sorry, I'm so sorry. No, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, about... My father went with another woman. Yeah. She saw that. She choked herself because she couldn't see it. And she died. Really? Okay, all right. Now, okay. Now, now, okay. That, that, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's a pleasure. The less, the better. Education. Always. Okay, firstly, I understand. What I would say is this. I don't know. It's a difficult situation. I don't want to talk much about it. I don't know what happened exactly. What was the driving point? I don't know how your father was with your mum. Was he a good man? I don't know. I don't know. You know. You know these factors. I don't know. You don't you need to go into details, yeah? We don't know what it was that may have led to that. Uh, and, and it's a sensitive topic. I don't want to say anything. Um, but what we believe is that Allah, he done it behind her back. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what kind of a man he is, but put that to the side. Maybe if a man was honest, because to find out is harder. To know that behind your back, he was doing all of this, or maybe I don't know what it was. Was it a younger girl? She felt I don't know. So sometimes that's why it's better that the husband is honest, because once a woman understands the nature, then it's better. Because when a woman is programmed this Disney, Hollywood, Bollywood, one man, one woman, this is a new phenomenon. From day Adam to 50, 60, 70 years ago, there was it wasn't man and a woman. It's always one man, multiple women. That was a norm. But we live in a society where we are brainwashed to thinking one man or one woman. This is new phenomena. This is new to us, you know that? This is something... Sorry, sorry, it's fine, it's all right, it's fine. It's, 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 okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's something that is new to us. So what I'm saying is that for, for men, if sisters can be educated, that's why I talk about this topic. Because I want to educate them that a man is not personal. The man doesn't do it to hurt his wife. You get what I'm trying to say? So that's why I do these videos to like educate, but I know where you're coming from. And that obviously, he has to be a bit more extra careful. And I would even, in this specific situation, I would even, some scholars might even say, especially you don't do it at all. So Islam is not just one. Some might say, you know what? Stay with her. Don't get a second one. To some people, you say no. But it depends on the situation. Yeah. May Allah bless you. I'm sorry if I've said anything to upset you. No. But I just wanted to be honest. Yeah. May Allah bless you guys, inshallah. Thank you. And on your journey around the world, <laughs> enjoy yourself. But when you have kids, how are you going to go around the world? Uh, no, we will leave. You have to stop. You have to stop. Uh, but we are thinking about the best because that's why we are traveling around the world. So to find the best place where to grow up our children. And it might be a Muslim country. Inshallah. And we were thinking about Turkey, inshallah. Turkey, yeah? Okay, inshallah. That's good. Yeah, no, from Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Look after yourself. Take care. Take care. So, as you can see, guys, we had a nice discussion. Lovely couple. May Allah bless you, inshallah. We just do this to educate people um, and so people can benefit from it, inshallah. And we ask Allah to accept it from us. So, next time, from Salam Khan, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Man, all the way from uh, Manchester. I remember. Take a picture with you. Yeah, sure. Take a picture with you. Picture of my brother. Bro, who is this? I don't know.